Okay, stealth is all the rage. It is the big thing when uh, it comes to military technology. It is all over the internet. But do we really know what it is? Well, it's coming up. I'm the Crow and this is Millennium 7 Star, the channel that helps you make sense of military history and military technology. In this video we are going to discuss five myths and misconceptions which often cloud people's perception of stealth. Stay till the end for a surprising bonus myth. But before starting, please like or dislike, uh, subscribe and share on social media because, uh, well, you won't regret it. Myth number five, stealth makes you invisible. Well, no, it doesn't. Stealth it is not a science fiction cloaking device. Stealth is many things, is many different things, but first and foremost, stealth is an idea. Stealth is making the detection of your own forces difficult for an opponent, more difficult than it would be if you did nothing. Stealth actually is an idea as old as warfare itself. However, in the last 40 years, stealth has seen the rise of a number of new technologies that heavily influenced weapon system design and their use on the battlefield. Now, detection depends from the energy emitted by the target or by the energy bouncing off it. If you are able to spot and analyze that energy, then you have detection. Stealth technologies greatly reduce the energy coming from the target and make detection more difficult, but it doesn't remove all the energy, so you can still see a stealth plane with your naked eye because you are actually seeing the light bouncing off of it like anything else. Myth number four, stealth makes you invisible to the radars. Okay, if I'm not invisible to the naked eye, maybe I can be invisible to radars. Well, unfortunately, I can't. Uh, the radar works by receiving and analyzing the energy bouncing off the plane that the same radar has emitted. Uh, stealth greatly reduces the amount of energy bouncing off uh, and thus generating a weaker signal on the radar. A stealth target needs to be closer than a known stealth of the same size to be detected. In the same way, a weak light needs to be closer to you than a bright light to be seen. Sometimes the advantage can be massive and the difference in the detection distance can be massive as well. But if you get close enough to a radar, then you will be spotted. Myth number three, stealth makes you invulnerable. Sorry, not true either. Being difficult to detect, a stealth target is also difficult to identify, is also difficult to lock onto it, and is also difficult to fire at it. Uh, in this sense, a stealth target is protected by his stealthiness. Stealth won't reduce the amount of damage it is going to take. It will depend from other characteristics, the same as a non-stealth plane. Myth number two. Stealth is just for planes. Absolutely no way. Stealth planes are cool and every major country is thinking of adding stealth to its own planes because it is perceived as a technology that gives a distinct advantage against non-stealth planes. However, the first and probably most important implementation of the concept of stealth uh, is in submarines. A modern submarine is optimized to emit as little sound energy as possible and it uses spatial coatings to reduce the reflected energy. Some submarines, in certain conditions, are even quieter than the natural sea noise background becoming virtually undetectable. Surface ships make use of stealth too. The Zuwal DDG are designed as inherently stealthy ships. They are huge ships, but they reflect as much energy as a small fishing vessel. All modern military ships include at least some design elements specific to reduce the radar signature, which is the, actually the amount of reflected runner energy. Finally, also land vehicles 
tend to be designed for stealth. And in this case, the energy emission that designers try to minimize is the infrared energy, which is emitted by heated objects. An engine exhaust pipe in a modern infrared visor looks like a bright spot against a colder background. So good vehicle design tries to minimize the presence of these hot spots. Myth number one, stealth requires a sharp corner design. Yes, kind of. A sharp corner design with specific proportion among the parts helps dispersing the reflected energy in different directions, thus reducing uh, the rather signature. However, this is not the only way of achieving stealth. Rounded and blended shapes also reduce the rather signature, uh, albeit not as effectively as the sharp corner. The B2 bomber, for example, is a mix of the two designs. It has blended shapes and sharp corners. Additionally, rather absorbing materials can be applied to every shape helping the reduction of rather signature even for inherently non-stealthy uh, planes or non-stealthy uh, shapes. Uh, the F-18 Super Hornet is a good example of extensive application of this rather absorbing material on an inherently non-stealthy. <music> Bonus myth. Stealth is the cutting edge of military technology. Unfortunately, the answer is again no. The father of modern stealth technology is Pyotr Yakovlevich Ufimtsev. Yes, a Russian scientist. He studied how electromagnetic uh, waves reflect off solid bodies. His book, called The Method of Edge Waves in the Physical Theory of Diffraction, was published in Russia in 1962. Yes, more than 50 years ago. Actually, I wasn't born yet and I'm quite old. In the early 70s, the book was translated in English and the United States Air Force promoted the research on the subject. Uh, the theory contained in the book, which uses a lot of clever mathematics because at the time uh, computers were not really available, is still the foundation of modern stealth. So, these are the 5 plus 1 myths that I wanted to debunk today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.